What's going on Airsofters? My name is Fabi and this is my Airsoft collection. My gun collection is not really big because I really like to have just a few guns but really reliable ones. So we have a, a few sidearms and two primaries for me. First of all I use the Tokyo Morui MK23. It's a non-blowback pistol that means that you don't uh, that the slide doesn't wreck while shooting so you don't have the loud noises of the of the slide and it's a very silent pistol and a very gas efficient and you can use it in very low temperatures so you don't have the problem with light striking and yeah you can use it the whole year. A little problem with this gun is actually it's really big as you can see so it's not easy to find a holster for it especially if you have attached the suppressor and the another big disadvantage is that uh, the trigger is a two-stage trigger, that means that you, if you pull the trigger, you have to move the nozzle to load the BB and then the actual shot. So if you can see, you load, 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 now it's loaded and then you shoot. So you have those two stages and the trigger pull is really, really long and it's a little bit hard to pull the trigger and aim. Um, next we have my Suma G18C. It's an automatic electric pistol. Yeah, if, if, if you're playing in, uh, in regions where you have really low temperatures in the winter, it's the, the best option you can get. But it's a pretty boring gun actually. Um, yeah, you have those electric sounds like but no slide is wrecking and yeah, it, it's just boring. <laughs> um, and my last sidearm is my Tokyo Maru High Kappa. It's a highly customized pistol, so the only stock parts at, in this pistol are the, the frame and the grip. All other parts got exchanged by aftermarket parts and tuning parts. Yeah, it was really expensive, it shoots really well now. Uh, you can use CO2 with it and it's a really loud and really, really reliable pistol. It's my go-to pistol if I play in uh, CQB areas or at the Armeria for example. Because if, if you enter a room, it's always important that you have a really loud pistol so the people get scared and if you're uh, outnumbered by one, two, four or whatsoever, they get scared and you can rush the room and fuck all these people up. Yeah, in the pistol all, all plastic parts got exchanged, so we have all the metal parts, the metal slide, so nothing can get uh, damaged while shooting. It's super reliable. Um, next to my two primary guns. Uh, my newest project is this uh, assault rifle. It's made by ICS. It's called the Mars DMR rifle. I exchanged all the internals with a Wolverine uh, HPA system with an Inferno Gen 2 system. Um, the big advantage of the HPA system is that you can actually have the right amount of air for the length of your barrel and the BBs you are using. So you can build a really, really efficient system and a really consistent uh, from shot to shot system. The stock parts are really good in it, so if you want to play it as an AHG, it's still a really good gun. But yeah, for me, I just wanted to change to the HPA to get the maximum efficiency and the maximum performance out of this great rifle. Um, the externals are really high quality. Everything is made of uh, polymer and metal. Uh, you have this super, super fancy rail with the M-lock to attach all your all your stuff there. I plan to use it as a DMR, so most of the time use it as single shot only. Um, therefore I got this 4 to 12 by 40 scope on it to actually see every BB that leaves the barrel and so I can adjust from shot to shot. Let's come to my most used primary at the moment. It's the Novridge SSG24. It's my go-to sniper rifle. At the moment I haven't shot anything better. Internally it's uh, still stock so I changed nothing but externally it's highly customized uh, to fit all my needs. So we have this custom paint job um, first of all on the whole rifle and for camouflage system I use the uh, SC Gilly 3D uh, system. It's also custom made for the SSG. You have those fancy 3D leaves uh, combined with this rubber band so you can attach uh, all natural stuff in there to get the perfect camouflage for your game area. Okay, um, 
As a scope, I use a hockey. It's called a hockey panorama for 4 to 12 by 40 scope. It got a mill dot radical in it and it can be illuminated from red to blue in a few stages, so you have always the perfect contrast. Um, on the scope we have a, a sunshade and a kill flash. You can see it. So <clears throat> nobody can see you if you play against the sun or yeah, against the sun. So if the sun shines from here, the enemies don't see your lens glaring and they, it don't give away your position. And it also protects the the scope from getting shot from other BBs. Yeah, most of the time I use it on uh, four times magnification, but for those really big games like Milsims and stuff, it's always handy if you can adjust it to a higher magnification so you can spot enemies or friendly players or whatsoever. Then for the sling mounts, I use a P90 sling made by Blackhawk and a Magpul rail sling mount. Uh, it's a two point sling, so you can easily put it over your head and you're really fast with aiming, dropping, maybe pull your pistol and put it on your back. Yeah, and it doesn't wobble around all the time. All right, then we have uh, the camera systems attached. In the front, the selfie cam is a GoPro Hero 4. It's attached with a GoPro ring with a rail on it and a quick detachment so you can easily put it put it up and have the camera separated from the from the rifle and then put it back super fast. As a scope cam I use a Runcam 2 with a 35mm lens. Uh, in my opinion the 35 gives the best uh, combination of quality and zoom. So we also tr uh, tested in 90mm but I feel the quality of the video isn't that good but yeah, so I changed to the uh, 35mm lens. Then back in the stock, I put in a, a battery pack for the camera. You can charge the battery pack directly here via this uh, USB port and then plug it into the, to the camera and charge the camera while recording. So you don't have to disassemble the whole gun to get to the battery, battery pack or put an external battery pack on the scope. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In the video description, you can find a link to my homepage where you can find all the links to all the products I'm using. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.